23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Monday. County supervisors are listening to proposed amendments and comments on a zoning ordinance for new oil and gas wells in the county. Lorelei Oviat with the county's Planning and Natural Resources Department began the presentation this morning by laying out the specifics of the ordinance, including how the county reduced the 2015 version that would have allowed nearly 73,000 new wells through 2035. Staff has changed the recommended ordinance. The ordinance is before your board today is proposing a cap of 2,687 new wells per year. Now, this is a not to exceed in the calendar year in which the permit is first issue and it begins at zero permits in January of each year. That means if only 2,000 new wells are issued in year 2022, the remaining 697 cap amount is lost. It cannot be added to the next year. So it just restarts every year. Oviat also pointed out the new ordinance, uh, as you heard there, has been downsized to just over 43,000 new wells through 2035. The supplemental EIR looks at five different items, including the impacts on water, particulate emissions, ag land, noise, and health impact. Supervisors are hearing public comment both for and against this ordinance. We'll have updated information for you later today. Meantime, you can watch the Derek Chauvin trial right now on our sister network, Court TV, with gavel to gavel coverage. The trial of the former Minneapolis police officer charged in the death of George Floyd has a hearing this afternoon before they get underway with jury selection tomorrow. The entire trial is available live to, on live TV and online at courttv.com along with the Court TV app for Roku. You can also see it on channel 23.2 or Spectrum channel 238. The Condors back on the ice Wednesday night with San Diego after crushing Ontario this weekend. Cooper Marodi with a hat trick on Saturday, two more goals on Sunday, was named the AHL's Player of the Week as a result. A big congratulations to him. All right, let's bring in Elena Rusk and get a check of that Monday forecast. Good morning. So we're taking a look at our next winter like storm trying to head our way. Today is beautiful and we're in those 60s and tomorrow is much of the same with good air quality and then that system sliding down the coast right over the top of central California Wednesday into Thursday, slowly exiting that night and clear but staying cool on Friday. So it's one storm but three different days of rain. You'll see it starts tomorrow evening with the chance of some thunderstorms and some showers out there and then the cool air moves in. So any moisture that comes in by early Wednesday is quickly trying to turn to snow for our local mountains. That snow line getting down to about 3000 feet. That's how cold this storm is. You see those freezing conditions for the passes by early Wednesday morning and some good rain expected here on the valley floor as well. So in total, we're expecting a few tenths of an inch of rain here on the valley floor, a few inches of snow for our higher elevations. And that's a look at just some of the stories we're following at this hour. Don't forget you can get uh, breaking news, weather and traffic anytime, anywhere on the go by downloading our free mobile and tablet apps. We'll have another update for you right here later today.